pit pit stop it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's it's a pit stop pit 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 stop it's a pit stop pit stop pit stop pit stop Hello, hello, and welcome to your Purple Pants Podcast Pit Stop coverage of Amazing Race, Season 36, Episode 2. I am joined by the wealth of knowledge, Miss Brooke Kamhai, winner of Amazing Race, Season 29. Brookie Poo, how you feeling today? Good morning. I'm feeling good. I mean, this was all right, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm feeling good, too. Did I cry this episode? Yes. How many times? Three. Four? Uh, okay. <laughs> am I not happy with the outcome? Yes. Maybe. Do I have a team that I need to cuss out? Probably. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But am I mad that I have to cuss them out? Or initially? Oh, no. Initially. <laughs> initially, I was mad. But in the end, I was like, all right, maybe I'm not that mad. Uh but you're like, you sat with it for 45 minutes and you were like, mm, it's well, I think, I think I just get triggered from last season. You know, we had, you know, last season kind of triggered me. So when I see it happen, I get a little like, what's going on here? But as I'm excited episode, to hear what you're talking about okay, because right. I don't know that I'm going to agree with you, which is cool. I like when we comes yeah. up blows with each other. We don't always have to agree, but ultimately the end decision is I'm, I'm not mad. Okay. But that you I have still, to cuss them out. I do have to cuss them out a little bit. Okay. A little okay. bit. Just a little bit. I'm excited. Okay. Well listen. Well, I like to not be the only one who gets angry. So this is this is cool for me. Yes. Well it's always anger with love. It's never anger anger. That's true. Uh but just you know always a little anger with love. Okay. All right. Let's talk about it. All right, so we have 12 teams left. This is the second half of the first mega leg, which we're calling like from the knees to the toes because last week was just the thigh. And honestly, no, I'm going to get the negative out of the way. I feel like this leg was too flipping easy. Somebody online compared the detour to like a party city detour, and that cracked me up. I mean... Okay, we'll get there. I have some gripes. I had some happy moments. I had some heartbreaky moments. I'm pretty sure Scott and I got quoted by a super fan, which I'm not mad at. And then I have some new favorites and honestly, like renewed faith in the favorites that I already had. So this is gonna be a fun one. It's a fun one. I don't think it's a hard one, but it's a fun one. So here, I'm gonna disagree with you, right? Like I That's think fine. the from the knee down, uh, this leg of the super race, I thought it was kind of so it wasn't like challenging, but I thought it was grueling and it didn't look grueling as a viewer. But seeing everyone cross the end, it was like these MFers are drained. Yeah, okay, it's hot. It was hot, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, it gets hot. I mean, it, yes, okay. Yes, the temperature made it harder. If it were like a balmy 65 and breezy, it would have been a very easy leg. But side note, Morgan is texting me from last season. Hi, Morgan. Shout out hey, to Morgan. Morgan. Um, yes, the temperature made it a a much better leg because people were dropping like flies. They really were. Well, hold on. If you want to, since you want to name job, guess who texted me last night and I have to actually text them back? Uh, uh, Beyonce. No, John, John Franklin, <laughs> the winner of last season. Uh, he texted me last night, and I like I went to sleep. So I'm a, you know, if Brooke is text dropping, let me text drop John Franklin. I wasn't trying to be like, I mean, it was just, <laughs> just, just went off, just in case you heard it. All right, so hi John. Also, hi Greg. I spoke to him this week too. He's out of town. Okay. Anyway. Root information. They have to go to the Zona Romantica and find the clue at the center of the Iguana Bridge. This leg was all about navigation on foot, which I loved. They are still in Puerto Vallarta, which I don't love. But okay, I can't do anything about that. So whatever. So Rod and Leticia leave first. They always want to be first. She talks about how she's not going to be able to keep up with him, but she kept up with him just fine. I don't know why she's underestimating herself. Don't underestimate yourself. Anyway, they leave at 12.05. And then five minutes later, you have Ricky and Cesar who know that they can get first. And this may be the race that teaches them that they should also be life partners forever and get engaged. And so 
I don't know, maybe we'll have an engagement on the on the final mat in Philadelphia. We'll see what happens. You should have followed them. And I, so, I don't know how you didn't. Honestly, I know you have a job and a life and whatever. But at the Amazing Race, you see them finishing in your city. Follow them. Come on. I got you would have had real insight. I mean, right. Scared. I got a little scared. I called you. I was like, I don't know what they're doing. I think they're here. Uh, and then, and I'm like, follow them. And you're like, I'm I'm busy. <laughs> I'm like, I, I got to go. But I called you. You did. And I appreciated that. Okay. So I'm just going to do a, like Derek and Shalisa are third, like 12 minutes later. They are talking about how they can be team's parents, how they're old. But screw that. They're smart. And they're in ridiculous shape. They are the only ones who grab a free map from a local person. And good on them for being. I feel like uh, Shalisa is me. I feel like Shalisa is a collector of things, right? Like, I, I feel her. like we're going oh, go to go to Shalisa. Yeah, right. until <laughs> Definitely, because when they handed her that mat, it was like she didn't even know what it was. She was just no, like, she was free. Something's free. I'll take I it. Can take it. And I was just like, girl, we just had to drop three crossword puzzles, and here you go. But I was like, but again, you also the police and her came out. It's free. I don't need to pay nothing. You sure? Yoink. Thank love you. Love them. I love them. They are the bickery wonderful hilarious she is me team love them they look Want, amazing they look they're they're smart they're fit i i they're older which i love i love them are they in their 50s or 60s yes, i was arguing i was arguing right i was arguing with someone last week i was like no i think they're in their 50s they're like no they're in their 60s regardless they look great yeah. and they're really kicking ass like they are doing so well so none of this like old people shouldn't be allowed in the race Michigas. Like yeah, no. I also gotta cut Derek out a little bit uh too. So Derek on my list too. All right. Now or you wanna save it? Uh may we'll save it for okay. Fair enough. Whenever. Okay, so Juan and Shane are in fourth. They leave at 107. Um, Michelle and Sean, the double Dutchers, are happy to be in fifth. They feel like they can do this. They realize they really really like each other. I honestly would think that they would annoy me. But they don't. No. I just think they're just such pure joy. They remind me of Floyd from my season. Floyd was sunshine and a human. And I feel like they are sunshine in human form. So I very much like them. Yvonne and Michelle um, leave a minute later. Uh, they, they're very cute. They talk about how she is. I'm going to get the, I don't know, queen badass of the Navy. I don't, I'm not going to get the title, right? But the, the episode title was named after her where she's talking about trust but verify and and. I, I feel like most people in relationships have this. Like, if you're very type A and somebody says something, you trust them. But you also need to make sure for yourself that it's like, it's actually, I suffer from this. I get that. Exactly. I suffer from that, too. I don't think it's a big deal. But she is trying to drop the end verify. Um, Angie and Danny uh, talk about how he is such a ridiculous super fan that he used to host amazing race events for, like, local people. I would like to submit that Danny should host an amazing race, a mini amazing race for former amazing racers and amazing race podcasters, like for charity. And yeah. we'll get to go run around and do that. I think that would be super, super fun. So, you know, get on that. Um, Anthony and Bailey. Okay. I, I like them yeah. a lot. Their, their car still hasn't started. They, um, they're talking about how they're on the same page. I, I just don't think it's, it's like a good page yet, but but I also feel like they are the type of people in life, like they each experience, they just kind of like go into it and figure it out, right? And so- Within three minutes, they have left their clue with the first person they asked for directions. Like- Okay. And after they left it, they stayed there for like two seconds. It was like, thank you. We won't forget. Uh, yeah, but- <laughs> I thought I was not going to like them necessarily, uh, but I like I love their energy, right? Like I really do feel like they are like surfer, a little spacey, but I love it. And I feel like once they, you know, once they get in the car, once they put their seatbelt on, once they check their rear view mirrors, once they see that the gas tank is on empty and they need to get gas is the first <laughs> thing they do, right? Uh, and after they start the car. And after they look both ways and pull out into the intersection of the highway, I think they're going to be great. 
Uh, they they but, somehow manage to do just fine. They're like, they like fail upward. And I mean that very kindly. It's like they can, they do so many things wrong. And yet somehow they're just bopping along doing totally okay. I, I wouldn't want to race with them, but I very much enjoy watching them race. And I hope they stay for a long time because they are actually very joyful to watch. And and I think they're in on the joke. They're like, okay, sorry. Like, right. <laughs> whoops. Like they're, they're funny. They're not mad about it. Um, okay. Uh, sunny and busy leave like two minutes after that. And I actually have a newfound respect and love for them this episode. So we'll talk about that because they are not quitters. Uh, Kishori and Karishma leave like a minute after that. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> they are like the Queens of the one liners. I, especially Karishma. She, she is just, so funny like she's one of those you have to pay like a little bit of attention and once you're paying attention she's hilarious and then you have mary and chris at the back um they talk about how they need, really need to start like booking it and put a little pep in their step and then they proceed to just walk everywhere and then you have Vinny and amber who are last but at least they're running so i give them credit for that um okay so the first thing they have to do is find this iguana bridge which everyone except like three teams seem to have a real problem with nobody knows where it's like we said last week like there are a handful of teams that can navigate and everybody else is getting lost like wherever they're standing so they a couple of the teams you basically you have rod and leticia and um ricky and cesar who finished this leg before anybody else starts like it is absurd 30 minutes into the episode the two teams have finished which leads me to believe this whole leg could have taken two hours if you didn't mess it up royally and then i really do think they finished before the last team started like it is it was nuts because they didn't get lost because they know what they're doing yeah and it's like i feel like they had the whole town to themselves to ask different stuff but i have to say like i really love this competition between rod and leticia and ricky and, and cesar uh because like i like it was dare i say like turning me on right like because it's <laughs> like I just, Ricky and Cesar, like, they have my heart because, like, I love the fact that, for, first of all, two things I realized this episode. Uh, Rob and Letitia and Ricky and Cesar, they're the same couple, right? Like, Rob is Cesar because baby Cesar was not playing. Like, when he gets locked in, he gets locked in and I love that for him and Ricky. And I was like getting a little frustrated with them because I'm like, you, it like, if you a second, it don't matter. Like it's not a huge like race, but also I had to remember this is the first pit stop. Like, you know, cause it's a mega leg. So it is a first pit stop. So it's like, okay, I get it. But I just love to see the competition and I love to see how they were right on Rod and mm -hmm. Letitia's behind. Like they were not playing any game, but yeah, I just love how competitive Ricky and Cesar are. And I also feel like don't judge a book by its cover. Cause you might look at them and be like, Oh, I don't know how they're going to do on the race. Cesar said not today, not this season and not tomorrow. Okay. And I like how they, they sort of, respect each other and just rod is all you guys pushed us all day he could be so cocky because he's so big and so strong and so dominating but i love him i love both of them he's so respectful and not full of himself i don't know maybe he is he's not coming across that way on the race at all he is like just humble and, and kind and supportive yes to the and you guys did a great job you guys pushed us all day like not brag and doge like i just I'm a fan. I am a fan. I didn't know if I would be, but I am. And, and so. Mm -hmm. So lastly, well, obviously we know yeah. Rod and Letitia come in first place, but mm -hmm. if I'm Ricky and Cesar, and you know how I feel from watching the show with you for many seasons, I don't want to be the first team to hit the mat first because the odds are you are going to fall back in the pack. Two, if you are coming out that strong, you putting eyes on yourself, and if you stay this strong, if we get a U-turn, no, uh, no Maya and Rohan, but if we get a U-turn. One that the show actually plans, you one mean? One <laughs> that the show actually plans, 
you're going to be a target. So it was like, I was screaming oh, no, at Ricky. I think team number two might have made themselves a little bit of a target also at one point. And I'm thinking that's probably who you want to cuss out. Like, oh, well, like well, girl, we could get there now too. Okay, now as much love as I'm giving Ricky and Cesar, am I saying his name right? I think it's Cesar, yeah. Cesar, okay. Sorry if sorry uh, if I'm getting it yeah, wrong. Yeah, we apologize to everybody. I'm excited. Now, <laughs> when, my, when my people, Derek and Shalissa came around, they was like, you know where the, y'all know where we could find, where it's at. Okay, first of all, Cesar didn't even give Ricky a chance to even, okay, Cesar said, <laughs> <laughs> now, you know that pissed me off a second because I am like, it's early in this. It's early in the episode. It's early, and you're in, in the episode. front, and you have, and they're, and they literally, like, there's no chance you didn't hear that. She's like, "Hello, uh, no, ah, uh, hi, it's me. I'm here. Um, no, nothing. You're not gonna, you're not gonna help us." And then, like, and they're like, sorry, was like, next time, like, mm. no, yeah, I didn't love that because here's the thing. One. Shalissa does not look like she is one to forget. Exactly. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. but so that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to cuss Ricky and Cesar out because I don't like that. However, I will give them grace because they in they like in their mind, they were going home and they had to beat Rod and Shalissa. Like it that's was like first or nothing, right? So I'm I'm not mad because I do love the competitive nature. But I also am like Ricky and Cesar, just bring it down a little bit. Just a just little bit. Like, it's over there. You don't have to give them exact. <laughs> no, like, say, just say, give them a general idea that say, then they're not pissed and you look good and you're still ahead. And I don't, mm, I, I said understand, no. but they were just like, mm, next time. Mm, mm, mm. And yeah, they better I just, hope they don't need help later. Listen, because Shalissa. She do crossword puzzles, now. okay? She don't forget. <laughs> but so uh, okay, so okay, so we get to this. Those those two teams have no problem finding the iguana bridge. Um, and then the first clue is this detour, detour party city. One side is balloon collection, where you have to get three sets of purple, red, and yellow balloons. Um, this detour is entirely too easy. I feel like if you popped balloon, a certain number of balloons, you should have had to go back and get more. There was something that made this just too simple, but whatever. And the other side is called color correction, or as I like to call it, the detour that only one team actually understood. And you have to find these paper flags that are not in the same order as the example you have in your hands. But like, I think the wording was a little confusing because teams yeah. were like, am I looking for the pattern? Am I looking for the colors? But shout out to Sunny and Busy for like legitimately sticking with it and being the only team that didn't switch, even though I was yelling at my screen for them to switch immediately, but good on them for not doing it. They were right though, because if every team decided to do that side of the detour, there were probably a dozen strands that were the answer. And since they were the only one that did it, they weren't hunting for a needle in a haystack. They were hunting for very, very many, many needles in said haystack. I also feel like this was, the, well, clearly the balloons are the challenge or the detour to do. But I feel like how the amazing race set you up because you kept hearing people say that the balloons are all the way on the other side. And this one was like, right, 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 right there. And so like, I feel like that was kind of like the 52 fake out where it's like, mm, something's real easy here. Yeah, uh, and the balloons are hard. But I also do feel like uh, the color challenge is one of those challenges where I just knew one team was going to get there and just right pull one right like you know what i mean like i felt like it like again a needle in a haystack but i also felt like it could have been as easy as one team get there and root because when they read the thing i was confused because i'm like i thought they had to put the banner back up i had like it yeah i mean sunny and busy understood the assignment it's just they were having that and she's so funny she's like look at the wait, look pink look at the pink and pink figure out green. this what I mean, pink, blue, put green. on them. Okay. If so, green isn't next to pink, it's wrong. If blue isn't next to yellow, it's wrong. Then she got confused. And then she was like, no, wait. But no, if blue is next to, like, yeah. Uh, but 
foreshadowing a little bit. I wasn't mad at Kashuri and Karishma because <laughs> Kashuri just pulled them down. It was, and I thought that that way was so smart, though. It was smart, except I don't think they realized that all of the it looked like all of the patterns were the same. It, that wasn't the the thing. It was the color order, but. She's like, you don't need a ladder. You're like Shaq. Get over there. She's just so, she's very funny. She's got good little one-liners. Okay. She's like, yo, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. Bro, come on. Like, I'm like, oh my God, I love charisma. She's very funny. Okay, so Rod and Letitia decided they're going to pick their detour based on rock, paper, scissor, which is hilarious. And they got very lucky that that's the one that it landed on. Um, and they do the balloons. They do it very quickly. They're going back and forth with Ricky and Cesar. Um who mess it up initially and get one set of each color instead of each, but, and they're very lucky they ran into Rod and Letitia because otherwise they would have had to redo the entire thing. So sometimes you just get lucky when you're like the only two on the course. Um, Derek and Shalisa have trouble finding the bridge and this is where Ricky and Cesar will not help them. And I think this may come back to bite them in the booty at some point later. Um, but when Rod, when Rod and Letitia finish the detour, I love them. Like, he's very kind and very humble, and she's, like, keeping it real. I love that they're not what I thought that they were going to be. So, again, I, I hope it continues for them like this because sometimes I don't like it when, like, the very alpha male and, like, the wife who's like, I'm not going to be able to keep up. They, You know, Akbar and Sherry vibes, uh, yeah, but that's yeah. not what happens here. But I will say, though, I feel like there are times that Shalissa kind of tends to want to like maybe this way. And I feel like Derek be swaying her uh, a different way. And I'm like, we need to listen to our queen Shalissa. Okay. Uh, although we are a fan of Derek. He's been right listen. so far. <laughs> I mean, he has been, but I'm just saying. But also it's like, if Derek wanted to be in the Zaddy calendar, I mean, I think Derek, ha there's a spot for Derek in the Zaddy calendar. He's the grand Zaddy. Okay. Listen, he's he's the Zaddy. Okay. But anyway, all right. So. I will say, he said, you know, he said to her, like, do you want to run a little? And she's like, yeah, okay. Like, he's not like, kick it up and run. Like, he's not. He, and she's like, yeah, okay. And then she's like, but why are we running me uphill? What? Like, I just, I love her. I feel like, I feel like I connect with her. Yeah. I she I just got my eye on Derek. I'm just keeping my eye on Derek because you know I got to. I got to. That's fair. So two teams are now done with the detour. Half the teams haven't started, and they have to make their way to this park for the next clue. Um, Derek and Shalissa, meanwhile, are doing the balloons because they do the physical tasks because they can. They're straightforward. They're currently sitting in third place. And then Juan and Shane start the leg, um, and they do the balloons because they, too, have decided they're going to do anything and everything physical because they can. Um Michelle and Sean, Yvonne and Michelle. Is it two Michelles? Is it right? is. It's Yvonne. Okay. I have Yvonne and, and Michelle. Yes. And then. Or uh, Melissa. The, Melissa. Mel have, sorry, it is Melissa. My bad. And the uh, double dutchers start. And they're so, both couples are very cute. Um, So two teams are at the roadblock. Only half the teams have started. And that should tell you how easy this entire leg was. And at the roadblock, it said, who's got a skeleton in the closet? And they have to paint their partner's face to look like a skeleton. Um, Letitia is so happy. It's not physical. She's doing great. She's doing a makeup tutorial and Ricky and who does drag and musical theater. And now I want to take him to karaoke because as you know, I too was a musical theater major in college and my sliding door moment was the only Broadway show I ever auditioned for. I got called back and didn't go to go take my LSATs and become a lawyer. And I wish I'd change that because then maybe I could be having a very different life right now. Um, long story short, Ricky. We got to go karaoke. He might be part of the karaoke crew. Yes. Now. I, uh, I love during this challenge where Ricky was doing, Ricky was doing his thing. He was being detail oriented and Cesar was like, hurry it up. He's like, you're doing great. Keep going. And then Ron and Letitia get it. And he's like, but go faster. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're very cute and supportive of each other and they don't get snippy, but like he gets funny. Cesar gets very funny where he's like, you're doing good. You're doing good. Do it more. Do it faster. Do it more. Faster, they're leaving. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I like them a lot. Okay. So meanwhile, while that's happening, Juan and Shane are finishing the balloons and the 10th team, Kishori and Karishma is just starting the day. Like this is less than 90 minutes since the first team started. And the first team has finished the roadblock and is making their way uh, to the pit stop at this point. So then teams 11 and 12 start. Um, Yvonne and 
Melissa, right? Find the Iguana Bridge. Sunny and Busy, find the Iguana Bridge. The Double Dutchers can't find Bupkis. Like, they uh, are, they're just very, very lost. Yes. Sunny and Busy are the only team that decide to go do the color correction, and they stick with it. Three other teams decide they're going to do it. They get there. They go, I don't understand what they're asking us. This is ridiculous. We're out of here. But Sunny and Busy have some real good stick to which I think is a word. And if it's not, I just made it one. It is one. Okay. Thank you. So meanwhile, Anthony and Bailey finally find the bridge, decide to do color correction, get there, say their heads hurt, and they can't stay there anymore. That's not me saying it. They actually are like, my head hurts. I can't do this. And they decide to switch, which I think is probably the best decision of the day. Yeah. It's in that first five minutes, if you're not feeling it, switch it. And Angie and Danny get there, and Danny's like, we're going to choose the flags for now. And because he knows it might not be something that um, that they're going to stay with. And they get there, and Angie's like, what are we doing? And he's like, finding the one that's different. And she's like, but, but how? Like, what exactly? He's like, that's different. And she's like, but how's it? He goes, it's different. Like, he, she doesn't know the answer either. He just keeps repeating himself, and it cracks me up. And I just have to say, I... If I was unsure about who my favorite team is, it is Angie and Danny. And not even just because I love Angie, it's also so much of Danny. I just love, like, I don't know. I feel like um, last season, come on, dad, come on, dad, come on, dad, right? Like, now we love that, right? Because I felt like she was playing and like her, like, you know, but. I feel like this is almost the reversal, right? Where it's like, I feel like Danny understands that he's racing with his mom. And for me, I think what I even just love more about Danny is we know he's a super fan and we know he loves Amazing Race. But for me, I just get the sense that doing this experience with his mom means a whole lot more than the Amazing Race. Because just the way that every time they are getting to the next thing, how you doing? You all right? Like, let, like, what should we do? And then a uh, reason number 1,807, why I love Angie, because Angie be like, boy, go, come on, let's go. Like, I just, they are, I'm sorry to the, I'm sorry to the other teams, but Danny and Angie, oh, I love them. Like, well, I okay, love so them. I have a little bit of a different feeling. And I'll tell you, I, I, I feel I, I, like, I, bro. No, 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 love them. Uh, That's not uh, my different feeling. Uh, Relax. Uh, my different feeling is this. I think Mary and Chris care more about the experience than the race. I feel like Danny and Angie, I feel like Danny's checking on his mom and wants to do this with his mom. I don't think there's anyone else he wants to do it with. But if you went to Danny and you were like, you can be on the amazing race, but it can't be with your mom. He'd be like, I'm in. Like, I feel like the race is priority number one. Gravy that he gets to do it with his mom. And I do love that he keeps checking on her. Um, but I do think it's because he wants to continue to be like, let's go, let's go, let's go. So love them. But I do, for him, I feel like I hope they don't go home because I feel like if he does go home, someone's going to need to like watch him and make sure he's OK. Like this is this is yeah. it. Like, But we love it. And also, of course. Chris and Mary, you know, I can't forget them. I love them, too. I love me some Chris, okay? Uh, you know, in our cast assessment, I was like, I could tell Chris used to be a bad boy when he was younger. Uh, he messaged us. It was like, me and Mary thought that was so funny. Uh, but listen, it was a compliment, and we love you, Chris. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I love Chris and Mary, but okay. Okay, so Ron and Leticia are, are done. They have to go to the pit stop at Casa Kimberly, which is the vacation home of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. Anthony and Bailey. Elizabeth Taylor was a very, very famous actress who got married many, many times, who had fragrance white diamonds. But do you remember white diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor? Uh, do I remember do white, you diamonds? Have white diamonds? That's what I asked my mom to get me for Christmas. Girl, do I have white she diamonds? Did not. Girl, so my mom used to wear that growing up. And so, you know, I like to wear cologne and perfume, but like for me, I'm when dying. I smell Elizabeth Taylor white diamond, for me, it's like in the morning getting ready. Of course, I have Elizabeth Taylor white diamonds. <laughs> the nerve. I'm sorry. You whipped out perfume. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. I love you so much. Mm. Oh, that's just that's just good stuff. And it's hard to get. 
FYI. I can't imagine it's readily available on the market these days. This is not a new scent. But it's hard to get. Good on you. Okay. Just, okay. So anyway, they Rod goes and asks this group of men like where they're going, and the men are like, "Oh, so that's kind." He goes, like, shh, 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 shh. "He's so funny and so into." He's like, "Guys, guys." Hey, like, wait, 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 because mind you, he know, he knows Caesar might be getting his face done, but Caesar is like, like always listening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, also, yeah. um, another thing that I love, even though you don't love this being, first of all, my coffee has kicked in, and I'm so excited <laughs> to be talking to Race Race with you. Uh, another thing that I love about this foot leg race, oftentimes we don't see it a lot. But baby, this town, these people uh, that are in Mexico, baby, they are camera ready. Okay. Yes. I can't tell you how many of these I got. I saw the background or people just blatantly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> record like we don't see. I mean, obviously, I know it happens, but I yes. feel like they edit a lot of that out. But I don't feel like in Mexico they could because it was just so many people. I loved it. I love I like that, the too. People. Uh, even with the, the twins, um, what's their names? Uh, Anthony, Anthony and, Bailey, and Bailey, when they were asking the waiters, uh, uh -huh. and then after like the waiters was just sitting out on the steps, I was like, okay, the waiters kind of cute. Uh, I just, I'm here for the people watching. So I like when Anthony and Bailey asked the, the very nice lady on the bench. Um, I don't know who Elizabeth Taylor is, but do you know where her, her house is? And she just laughs. She can't help but laugh at them, but like in a sweet way, because they, they are very sweet, but I, maybe maybe I'm just old. I don't know. Maybe but, they're not well known. I don't know. Anthony and Bailey took me out when they was like, "Well, do you know how to get to?" Well, well, actually, here you'll read it. You, you, you. It's like not y'all just giving the whole clue to. And the lady was like, "Over there." Yeah. But I <laughs> love way. them. I yeah, like. I, that, I, hope, I have no problems with them. I hope they I stay mean, around. I do, no, I do too. I think they're hilarious to watch. And I want to see them coming first. Can they you imagine? They just walking into it, which, you know what? Okay, that happens. Like, I have no problem with it. Like, luck is a big part of the amazing. Okay, anyway. So Derek and Shalisa show up at the roadblock. And he is so sweaty that she goes to put the makeup on him. And she's like, stop sweating. He's just so okay. She should have just wrapped a towel around his head and then done the makeup right. from there down. Derek is like, You do your makeup every morning. I thought this would be easy. She's like, I don't do it on a sweaty face. Like, I'm not pouring sweat when I do it, but they are just I I really like them. I mean, they I really, really want them to stay for a long time just because I find her enjoyable. <laughs> Because she's so real. They're just so real. They're very real. So while this is happening, Yvonne and Melissa have finished the detour. Uh, Anthony and Bailey also can't find the balloons to save their life. They're wandering around. But um, Anthony, I don't know. I have a problem. They should have to wear name tags. Twins should always have to wear name tags. But, but I, I mean, maybe I, I stare at them too much. I could tell You the can difference. tell them apart. I could tell them apart. There's like a slight, if you look at them, face to face there's a slight difference uh but i appreciated you. when they were looking for the balloons and they were kind of like all over the place that anthony was like bro i just need you to trust me and i think again i right or wrong they just need to make a decision right mm -hmm. and if they like can and so i love the fact or i even love when anthony was like i don't have like i don't have it in me i need for you to take the lead like i like oh, i love that about them yeah i like when he was like just trust me and then there was a level of trust and he's like there it is i told you to trust me so that i like and their dynamic is really really good they when in the beginning they were talking a lot about like we are always pitted against each other and i really think they actually make a really good team that complements each other so Good. Okay. So while this is happening, Sunny and Busy are cutting down the wrong strand, but they're still working on it. Um, Michelle and Sean are so lost that they actually don't find the detour. They find the roadblock and they start doing the roadblock, as does Kashuri and, and Karishma. They both show up thinking that Iguana Bridge is the roadblock. However, <clears throat> my girl Karishma felt like something was off. She did. She's like, I don't think this is right. And Kishori's like, there are seven clues. This is this is right. Like, we're not far behind. This is right. And Chris was like, mm, mm, I don't and, think so. Right. And 
um the double dutch uh michelle and sean first of all michelle had me cracking up when kashuri and charisma arrived and they was like is this that water bridge and michelle She's was like, like yeah, you mm -hmm. welcome we here all wrong <laughs> all wrong so oh so this is like 45 minutes into the episode we finally see chris and mary who are just pinching themselves and happy to be there um to make sure that pinch themselves to make sure they're not dreaming their life is so good that they're here but they're like they listen, need to move I, faster. listen, like, I just... listen they moving at the pace that they moving at and yeah, but they're moving at the pace of someone who goes home what do you mean that it's a race listen Listen, it's hot out, okay? Chris A, he ain't packed the Ben Gay for his joints. So listen, we move it at the pace of Chris. And if Mary not stressed, we not stressed. So but that's I the that thing, I am stressed. She's not stressed, but I am. I'm yelling at them to go. Although I will say, Chris is like, I need to sit down for five minutes. She's making an electrolyte drink for them. He's basically vomiting on top of her. But he says, I'm not letting a medic take me out of this race. I'm going to take five minutes. I give him all the credit in the world for this. And then he's like, I feel better. And then they just get up and start mosing. Put a little pep in your step. Yeah. Meanwhile, Karishma is all, you will have to drag my cold, limp, lifeless body off of this race course because before I ask for a medic. You can sleep when you're dead. You can rest when it's over. Move. And she is so funny. And yeah. I appreciate that. Yes. And also with Chris and Mary, I, I feel like I love how Mary is very, like, protective and, like, support her dad. But she draw the line and throw up. She, like, hey, that way. throw up that way. They're, they're very funny. Okay, so then you have Amber and Vinny running around like chickens with their head cut off. And Angie and Danny tell them which way to go because they think they might need help later. And I'm for that. They say it's I, that way, keep going. They're gonna find it anyway. They were running in the right direction. So just be like, yeah, good. But that's a strategic move yeah. on Danny. Mm -hmm. And I'm not mad at that because it's like, listen, we in the back of the pack. Let me give them this good favor. And listen, reason a thousand and seven why I love Danny and Angie because I, I wasn't mad at that. No. Cesar, take some notes. I but, mean, Cesar's doing fine. At this point, he's checked right. into the pit stop in second place. And Rod and Leticia have won a trip to Portugal, which honestly, they don't seem that excited. Girl! Girl! Oh, my God, wait. Okay. So this is when I was like, I am no longer mad at Ricky and Cesar. Because first of all, they wanted that first spot so bad. But when Phil told Leticia and Rob that they got Portugal, like, it was visible that they were like, oh. Well, so, okay, so part of me was like, maybe they didn't want to be like over celebrating on the mat with somebody else there and like rubbing it in their face. But then part of me was like, maybe they're just not excited about a trip to Portugal. I don't know. They wanted like, money. They wanted you can some gift money. That, you can gift that trip to somebody else. You don't have to keep your prize. There have been legs of the race. One that I remember very specifically where there was a team, Mark and Bopper, that needed the money. And another team... I don't remember the other team won like $5,000 each on the mat. And this other Mark and Bopper team showed up like right there after. And they gifted them the $5,000 each. Oh, Cause wow. they thought that if I have this right, that Mark and Bopper were going to go home. And then it was a non-elimination leg. And then they gifted the money for no reason, but whatever, it's fine. If I have that wrong, somebody will correct me. But I, I, I think I have the gist correctly. Like this was like Portugal. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so funny. I I wrote that down because I was like, is it me? Or because they've just been so high energy, so big personalities, and they were like, this is what we got. Da -da 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 -da. They like, yeah, Portugal. Portugal's great. I mean, um, it is. But also maybe they were a little bit, maybe they cut stuff out. I don't know. I even if, even if they were more excited and they did edit that to, for that reaction, I think that that's even better. That's pretty funny. But I also just loved it because, like, Ricky and Cesar, like, they, like if they would have got it, I feel like they would have been crying. And, like, so I love that. Oh, also God, it's our honeymoon. And it's going to be – yeah, no, they would – you know what? I hope they get it first because I want to see their – their excitement over whatever. I also love one. I feel like Rod has such good sportsmanship because, oh, like, 
they were so excited when they were there. Also, I felt like, now this probably wasn't shade, but I just loved it a little bit in my mind. I made it shade. Uh, after they gave them the trip and they were celebrating, Rod like had the fist pump up to like, and they just didn't see it. And right. it's just so funny because like for like four seconds, you just see Rod's hand in the air. Um, I love him. You guys pushed us. You guys made us better. Like yeah. you didn't have to say any of that. Like you are such a far superior athlete to everybody else on the mat with you. I just really, really like his attitude. I, uh, I love Rod and Letitia. Agree. Now, here is a random note that like, um, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to win the race only because they came in first. So, you know, I always, I always, I always say that the people, well, maybe. You know, I, that's what wins you the race, right? Wait, I take this back. I take this back. <laughs> I have to see maybe like four more episodes. If they win first. Do you have to see like 10 more episodes and then you'll decide? I just, for me, you know, I always say the teams that like are in the early, like that win, like the first three pit stops, uh, I always say they're not going to win because it's like that momentum kind of sort of fades a little bit. So it's always that's like, fair. I like a team that's like third or fourth or fifth. And I didn't expect to want to uh, uh, want to root for them, but well, not want to root for them, but Juan and Shane, I could like, I feel like they had, I mean, no, oh, your because... feelings have changed because last week you were a little, they over celebrate too much. I mean, they do. Hammy. They do. They over celebrated this time as well when they left the painting area. But they did do something really, really nice. They did help Karishma and uh, uh, Kishori. Karishma and Kishori. Uh, and I also loved how they helped and worked. Like at first, they like, yes. answer They're all like the we're questions. gonna start, we continue to talk. Like, I they. I like them a lot. Yeah. So this is what's happening right now. Karishma and Kishore are like, guys, th this is the Iguana Bridge, right? And they're like, no, like we no. already did the detour. It was a and detour. Like, what? Kar and so Karishma was like, a rushed. detour. And then Karishma was like, well, let's keep doing this. And Kish no, Kishore. And then Karishma was like, no, this is wrong. We need to go. Meanwhile, Michelle is still painting while she's listening to everything that's going on. I, part of me was like, why didn't you just leave what was already done done go back and do the other thing but i'm pretty certain they had to they can't go out of order so they had to start over and whatever i do have a question and mind you what i'm i don't know why her name is uh leaving me because i love her come on dad come on dad come on dad Anna what was Anna Lee uh and steve remember when they were in the go-karts going shopping and they didn't do something they did something out of order uh -huh. so my question yes. to you is as the amazing race officiate mm -hmm. could they have not completed this could like is like could they have completed this got the thumbs up and then gone back and do the balloons no because they wouldn't have gotten the thumbs up they would have said they would have continued to get no's because they didn't complete something before they got there oh, so because i thought they would have like got a yes but they wouldn't have got a clue uh, well, no, that's because what happened when, with Anna Lee. Well, yeah, but what happened like last week when Karishma didn't wear her kerchief is she finished it and they didn't give her a yes, but no clue. They just said no. And she's like, well, give me the clue. I got to read it again. And so they would have just continued to say no. And so I'm glad that I'm Juan and Shane were the ones they are because they helped him. Imagine if Ricky and Cesar were there and they were like, is this a Guana Bridge? And they were like. <laughs> okay. So we'll see. Anyway, um, Shalisa and Derek are finishing at this point. They get third place. They are adorable. Phil is like, uh, Derek, I've seen you taller. I've seen you less sweaty. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, Brooke. <laughs> After Derek and Shalissa, baby, these people came drenched tired it was hot i get that girl no I, but the, it's no. the amazing right no, no. yes mm -hmm. yes no this no. leg was had it not been sweltering this leg would have literally been a walk in the park like no, the, no, no. it took like 90 minutes our first leg of the amazing race took 36 hours i'm not joking between well between flights and driving and exploring the entire country of Panama because everybody got lost 36 hours start to finish this was like 90 minutes like <laughs> i don't care what you say bro. So, yeah, i thought this yeah, was that's great fine. 
It's okay. You know, it was great. It was just like mega lag. Like it was like a mini. Okay, whatever, Brooke. Shut up. Okay, so Yvonne's doing the roadblock, and Danny and Angie are collecting balloons. And this is where I'm pretty sure we are quoted. He asks his mom if it's harder than giving birth, because as I was in Vietnam riding a one speed bicycle through rural Vietnam, my partner kept, and I'm like grunting because I'm exhausted. He's like, she's in labor, it's twins this time. And so I, Danny as the super, super fan, I'm pretty sure was referencing our season and talking about if this was harder than labor and his mom's all, let's see what comes out. She's adorable and super, super uh, cute. But I felt very seen in that moment. But I'm sorry, riding a bike in Vietnam, that just seems like a walk in the park. <laughs> You're on drugs. Like it was 50 plus miles on a one speed bicycle with a backpack on, on roads. And I use the term road very loosely that were basically just pebbles and dirt. And you know what? Fine. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, it was easy. I'm, I'm bitching for no reason. No, I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. I can see how collecting balloons is much harder than that. Yes, no. you're absolutely right. No, you are. Uh huh. Anyway, uh, uh, do, 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 do. Amber and Vinny are doing the balloons at this point because they have. Everyone else has decided to give up on the flags. And um, yeah, Michelle and Sean do the balloons. Karishma and Kishore do the flags and then swap. Mary and Chris do the flags and then swap. Um, yeah. And so that's all that's going on there. So now you have Anthony and Bailey at the roadblock as Juan and Shane are finishing the roadblock. And you have Sonny and Busy who finally get it. They're in ninth place and they head to the roadblock while Juan and Shane head to the pit stop. So, but at the pit stop, they're very humble. They learn to trust their gut. They learn not to underestimate the competition. They're speaking very highly of everybody else. I think they handled this pit stop a whole lot better than the one before. But honestly, I didn't have a problem with kissing the ground at the first one. You made it through leg one. That is the hardest leg because you don't know what to expect. This is a fully new experience. And every one of them told you it is harder than it looks on TV. So I appreciate that. They are let. I mean, Sunny and Busy are like, this is way harder than fighting fires. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine that's true. But like, very nice of them to say. I, uh, Juan and Vinny, uh, Shane. Is it Juan and Shane, they remind me of Dusty and Ryan, right? Like, and I okay. feel like they are, I just, I like their momentum. Um, and we'll see. I feel like something might trip them up, but I like their momentum and they, rem they remind me of Dusty and Ryan. And, you know, I have an affinity for Ryan. Um, so, uh, also, I guess, like, you know, uh, when we get back to the face painting, mm -hmm. reason a million and seven, uh -huh. why Angie is my girl, and I will, I will tolerate no Angie slander here. Because I, no slander. I mean, no, I'm not saying, I'm just, I'm just saying for future, if you happen to be on Facebook and somebody say something nasty about Angie on Facebook, you I'm coming in the group because at this point, Angie is Barb. Uh, and while they are like, literally, this is like, I, I just, I start to get emotional here because while they're face painting, Angie is like, I'm getting a little hot. I'm getting overheated. Now, I, I don't know if the medics intervene, but they lay Angie down on her back. And, you know, now, this is where I could see where Danny come in at a little bit. Because Danny is like, you good? You fine, mom? Uh, and after she's like, yeah, I just need to cool off. Baby, Danny starts to face paint Angie while she is laying down. But <laughs> it just... This just makes me a little emotional, right? Because it's just like, again, it just really honestly makes me think of my mom. And I like, there's not anything, my mom, and I'm sure there's not anything that Mama Cam High, shout out to Mama Cam High. She do would never us. do this. <laughs> well, okay, Mama Cam High trust. She lasts five minutes. Um, I will say this. First of all, kudos to Danny for being like, I read the clue and it didn't say I couldn't keep going while she was passed out on the floor. So I just continued to paint her passed out face. I give him a lot of credit for that. I will say hey, this is no slander, this is nothing bad. If you're in the middle of getting help from a medic and you have like a cold pack underneath you, I do think you should not be allowed to be continuing at that moment. I feel like if you're getting aid, you're at a timeout. That being said, if there was no cold pack, and I don't think she should have to sit in the chair. If she wants to lay on the ground, let her lay on the ground. I think it was hilarious that he was like, well, it, it's since you 
<laughs> Since you taking a little break, let me. <laughs> Exactly. I think that's great. He is definitely like, there is no read your clue with it. He has read the clue four times and found the loophole. So good on him because that's really, really, really funny to me. Um, okay. So Sunny and Busy are now doing the roadblock. Busy is asking for a check every three seconds. That's the funniest thing. She's like, check. They're like, no. She's like, check. They're like, still no. She's like, check. And so but I'm not mad. I me am neither. not mad. I feel like you have taught me that. I feel like ask for more checks than not because then you have uh what's their name? Uh what's the nurses? Um uh, oh, Amber, Amber Aunt, and Vinny? Aunt, is it Jesus nurses? Then you have Amber and Vinny where Amber oh, is like now my She's like painting the Sistine Chapel. Well, her I don't work even... is good. Her oh, work yeah. is good though. It's too but good. She's like and Vinny's like, you know, they, they've asked for 13 checks. We could get one in. And she's like, I just got to get your teeth done. I got to get, like, I appreciate her so much. And then when uh, the ladies get it, I think Vinny's just like, check, check, yep. check. I don't think he was allowed to ask for it, but I think he did, which is really, really funny. Um, and then you have Michelle and Sean who are there. She is legitimately, I need a dose of her optimism. She is the most optimistic person maybe I've ever seen. We struggle with infertility. Now we have three kids. We struggle with getting lost. Now we're here and we have got this. Like they are, they're like really, really cute. And yeah. I really, really like them. So I have no problems with them. Um, I will say it's a good thing that Chris and Karishma are not partners because he needs to sit down. And if he didn't have a supportive daughter who was willing to sit with him, if Karishma was his partner, she'd be like, listen, pops, <laughs> climb on my back. <laughs> And we keep moving. Like, she Let's would have go. none of it. And I, I think that's hilarious. So it's it's good, but I do give him a lot of credit for not calling for a medic. Anthony and Bailey now have their clue. And uh, Anthony, I think he has his face painted and says, I look like a clown. I can't ask for directions. This is where they ask this woman for Elizabeth Taylor, whoever that is, for her vacation spot. I don't know. Um, is she someone famous? Who knows? And then um, at this point, Yvonne and Melissa are checking into the pit stop in fifth place. Um, yeah. Okay. So then Angie and Danny finish the roadblock. Then Amber and Vinny finish. Sunny and Busy get it. Karishma and Kishori and Michelle and Sean are all at the roadblock and finishing up. You have Mary and Chris at the roadblock and they said they saw other teams, but they didn't show any other teams in like the background or that. Like I think editing was trying to do its thing. Um, so five teams have checked in. Everybody else is so flipping lost trying to find the pit stop. They're going in every which way, except Angie and Danny, who are somehow climbing some rock wall back stairs. She's singing some song to keep herself motivated. And then they check in in sixth place and hand to God, his reaction is the best thing I've ever seen. He is so shocked that everybody else has screwed up so royally that they've managed to make it to six, that it is the most endearing check-in. And I know this is reason 1,312, while you love them so, so much. I do. I this know. is the third time I started crying. Because <laughs> it was like, all three were them. <laughs> it was. It really was. It was like when he <laughs> took her backpack, when she was laying on the ground, and then when they got here, and he was trying to give her the credit, like, it's all because of her. And she was like, no. It's all because of you. Like, I I love them. Like, can I come over for Thanksgiving? Like, I want to lie. Oh, I'm sure they'd have you. I, uh, yeah. And, you know, uh, Danny is a fan of the Purple Pants podcast and the Pit Stop coverage. So, um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I love everybody. Good like, thing we like them then. I didn't know that bit of information. So it's a good thing I'm not saying anything bad. Big fan. Okay. So, um. Mary and Chris at this point must just know they're last because they're moseying around like they don't have a care in the world and they're enjoying oh, right. like the ocean breeze. Brooke? What? Put some pep in your step. Well, I love them. They, I, I love a father-daughter team. I want to see them last as long as possible. But like... Listen, mm -hmm. Listen they, they might be slow and steady. Okay? No, they're but just this is what slow. I... <laughs> but you're not you not coming for my Chris, okay? I'm not but coming for anyone. I wanted them to last so long because so I, I love them. This is said with love because I did not want to see them go home because Neither I very I. much enjoy them. And I think they should get the million dollars anyway because I don't think they should be living in a one-bedroom apartment. I think we should give them the money 
and rewrite the rules. Um, I know that's not going to happen, and yet I will petition for it. I'm a, I'm a fan. It is said because I don't want to see them go. I don't want to see them go either. I love Mary, and I mean, I love Mary. But sorry, Mary, Chris is a little more superior in my heart. But although they might have been a little slow, although Chris might have been throwing up, although Mary might have been pushing him over there so the throw up don't get on her, although he might have had to make a little electrolyte drink and get it together. Like, they, yes, they came in last, but by, by no means were they out of the race, though. That's my point. But, you know, you have teams that were so, so okay. So, Vinny and Amber check in seven. Good on them. They jumped a lot. Anthony and Bailey are right there in eighth. Sunny and Busy. No? Yeah. Ninth. Sunny and Busy are right there in ninth. Um, Kishori and Karishma get there in tenth. Thank God. Because if they went home, I would have been devastated. They are too funny to leave. They need to like pay more attention. But, but at the same time, I low key don't want them to because I also. Well, want, it is more fun when they don't, I but I need them to not go yeah. home. And then you have Michelle and Sean who are so lost. So that's my point. Mary and Chris were not out. So don't be walking around like you're out. Like race till you can't race no more. That's my feeling. I, but I, I, I just feel like. That's what Chris was trying to do. He was trying to race until he can't race no more because if he would have been running, he wouldn't have been able to race no more. So I feel Fine. like I Fine. just, I just, you know, I'm Fine. just, I'm just saying, I just, but. Yeah, well, I, I will say my favorite moment of the episode, sorry, my favorite moment of the episode happened when Michelle and Sean get to the pit stop and she just has this look on her face like, oh no, we're eliminated. And Phil doesn't say anything. She goes, oh no and sean looks up like like he missed something and feels like who said you were eliminated she's like we're uh, we're not and he's like no and she's like she like loses she's so excited they can't go home either yeah, like, they, they can't go home either so i mean and then mary and chris get there i appreciate they live their dream the mom was a fan of the race they did this you know to honor her memory and to be close together and i just I'm so sad yeah. to see them go. There was no negative about me saying run faster because run faster was the only thing that was going to keep them in it. And so I just, they were so nice to watch. There's such an inspiration on like a really good father daughter relationship. And I mean, I look forward to meeting you in person. I'm, I'm very sad that it, that it is over for them. Me but if the other option were Michelle and Sean, I don't know because she is just, the moment where she was just like, that's, and just that's, Phil was like, I didn't say you were done. Like, why are we assuming you're finished? Like, that be Phil be getting me mad at them times because I think he's if funny. That were me, I would be cussing Phil out if he'd be like, You're not going home. Don't play with me, Philip. But yeah. I had a moment with Phil. Like, we knew we were second to last in Africa. I had a very bad day making a ladle out of like, you know, a rusty, like, piece of metal and god knows what and we got there and i have never been so dirty in my life but we got there and he's like do you know what place you are and i was like it, there are eight teams left and i was like seven i think we're seven please like tell me we're not. and he's like you're you're good you're still like <laughs> He was always so nice to me i think he's great i think he's so funny and i think it's funny when he gets to play with the teams a little bit being like I don't even get to mess with you and say you might be going, you're, it, it, you're okay. Like, I, I, I didn't even say anything. I was, <laughs> just, I was drinking my electric light water. Okay? Exactly. <laughs> they were great. And so next week they get to go to Colombia. So at least they're leaving, you know, Mexico, North America. They're leaving North America. They're going right next door. But okay. So Colombia, where we get to see a little bit of a new flavor. So I'm excited yeah. for that. And, I'm, loving, um, yeah. I'm loving the season already. I've been to Mexico. I've been to Colombia. I live in Philadelphia. So I'm, you know, I, <laughs> check me off the mat. I can't wait for the last episode. So I'm be like, Bryce, I mean, I've been to Philadelphia several times, but I don't never live there. So uh, I'm, I'm going to direct you. I, I, yes. 
I'm directing us, okay? I, listen, I got you covered. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Miss Brooke Cam High, uh, for another amazing pit stop. We'll be back next week covering episode three. We appreciate you so much. Before we go, Brooke, where can the people follow you at on the Twitter and the Instagram and Facebook if they want to say that? On the Facebook, it's just my name. I mean, isn't that just how it works? Um, and then on the Twitter and on the Instagram, it is at the real B Cam High, which was ironic. And now I just think it sounds a little silly but at the real b cam high come tell me why we're wrong tell me why i uh, we're pretty um just tell us whatever you want to tell us comment below we love to read them we love to reply and and it's possible if i can move something around that i may be watching with a few of the racers this week so i will give you a little bit of you know oh. behind the scenes intel on the next episode of the pit stop for the purple pants podcast Yes. Well, we'll be back next week. Thanks for listening. Bye. Pit stop. Pit 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 stop. It's a pit stop. Pit 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 stop. It's it's a pit stop. Pit 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 stop. It's a pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop.